Hey guys, my name is Madi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be all about Timu wigs. And these are how my nails are looking. They're still holding up pretty well for the most part. And yeah. So today's video is going to be all about Timu wigs. I have three human hair wigs that I'm going to review for you guys. And everything will be linked down below as well as my affiliate code and my affiliate link which will be on the screen. So if you guys use my affiliate link to download the app, you're going to get a $100 coupon bundle. And then also my affiliate code is going to give you extra 30% off on checkout. Now the first wig is going to be a 14 inch. It's kind of like a greenish aqua kind of blue color. And it brings an HD wig cap with two pieces in it, which is really good and helpful. And also on the back, the wig cap does say that it is reusable. I never reuse them barely unless I you know, don't have it glued down or anything. Now, I did recently do a spring haul for Timu, and these wigs were part of the haul, but I did order them separately. Just keep that in mind. I did purchase these just to see the quality of it. I wanted to try out a colored wig, a black wig, and also a blonde wig, so you guys are going to see me do all of that. Now, this wig is a mint green short hair bob, and it is a 13 by 1 lace front wig, so it's going to go 13 inches going all around, and then the parting is a kind of like a T part in the middle. It is parting just one inch in. And I did get it in 14 inches. At the time that I purchased it, I did pay $44.99 for 14 inches, which is the longest size that you can get in this wig in. But right now, going back, it is on sale. So if you purchase this is same exact wig, this same exact length, you are going to get it for $39.99. Um, I don't know if it's like that for everybody, but just for me personally, it does say that it is on sale. So if you guys are interested, go check it out. Now the texture of this wig is really, really soft and smooth and also very, very silky. I really like how silky it was. I was very hesitant to purchase anything that's colored just because I feel like you just never know if it's going to be synthetic blend or not. This is how the lace is looking. The knots are very, very small and minimal. Again, because this is a colored wig, I'm assuming it was bleached beforehand. All of the wigs that I'm going to be showing you today, I'm also going to try on for you guys and show you guys how it looks on me. Now, this is just the first impressions of all of the wigs, so just keep that in mind. This is my own first impressions of the wigs. I'm going to do my own initial testing of the wigs as well. Now, the next wig I did purchase was a 13 by 6 pre-plucked with baby hair. It was a 24-inch black lace front wig. I think when I originally purchased this, it was $60, $66 and something like that. Now, if you go back on the website, I think it's the same exact price. So I don't think it went down or anything like that. But overall, this says that it is pre-plucked with baby hair and it is 150% density and it's Brazilian hair. The wig was extremely soft. It did feel like virgin hair. Now, zooming into the knots, I think the knots are a little bit big personally for me, but I can tell that it was pre-plucked. The head cap is also a little bit big, just like the one that I recently had with the light bluish green one. But it does include an extra comb inside and there's extra space. Because it is a 13 by 6, I believe this is a true 13 by 6 because the free parting space goes all the way in. To compare the lace to the previous wig, the lace felt a little bit more thicker in my opinion, but overall... Like you can't really tell a big difference because this one actually comes pre-plucked. So the knots for me are a little bit bigger on this one. And I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys that you can part it whichever way you want. But personally for me, the knots are a little bit big. It does also come with a little bit extra lace in the back if you wanted to glue it down in the back. And the texture is really, really silky. On camera, it's picking up more of like a brownish tint, but it is a black. The next wig is a 26 inch 613 HD lace frontal wig and it is in 13 by 4 so the free parting space is a little bit smaller so it's 13 inches going around your perimeter of your head and then it is 4 inches going um, back from your forehead line all the way back. So it is a little bit smaller in the parting space than what the other wig is. Now when I originally purchased this wig it said that I had to do a pre-order on it. Um, so that's why it took a little bit longer for me to get the wigs and actually do a review on it. And actually going back as of this moment forward, 
it does say that this wig is discontinued but for the purpose of this video i am still going to review the wig now checking the wig cap of this wig it also comes with four combs and it is also in on the larger side when i'm checking the knots for the wig i'm seeing little tiny black dots on it and that's because i noticed that this wig has little tiny strands of black hair now this isn't something that most people are going to care about or notice for me personally i don't care about it because i am going to dye this wig but just giving you guys a heads up, if you were to zoom in closer, this wig does have small several strands of black or brown hair distributed all throughout. It's not that noticeable, but just to keep that in mind. The texture is a little bit more rougher and drier, but this wig feels extremely dense. Like it felt like the most thickest wig compared to all the other ones. Now this is me, hi. Now I have all my green stuff going on because it was St. Patrick's Day when I decided to film this video. So I am gonna go in and put a mesh cap on the HD wig cap and I'm just gonna pull my hair back. You wanna make sure you get try to get all your edges back. You wanna make sure you try to brush all your edges back and don't leave anything behind. This is my little hairline that I have going on. Now the problem with me I have such a small head and my hairline is not that pulled back. So when I do put wigs on, I have a hard time trying to cover my hairline without making the wig look like it's placed there on, um, on purpose. Just because my hairline naturally already is so far up and my head is so small already. So I like to do a little bun and I normally like to take it a little bit lower than this. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you what I just typically tend to do. I don't install my wigs any longer than two to three days. This is the wig cap that came with the first wig. And I'm just going to tilt my head down and just put the wig cap over my head. So you guys are going to see me do that. I like to put my thumbs on each side of the cap and just slip that on and try to push all of that hair in. For the purpose of this video, I don't really mind any hair poking out that much. But if I was to install the wig cap on my head, I would make sure that I glue down all my edges and also brush all my edges back. This is one of the products that I like using to brush all my edges back. So that is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges Extreme Firm Hold. It is basically a hair gel, solid hair gel. And I like to use this to brush all my edges back to make sure that nothing is poking out when I put the wig cap on. Also the Got To Be Glue Spray is what I use to glue it down. There is another product from Got To Be that is like a glued gel and I haven't tried that. But for the most part, I do want to try it. Now, this is the first wig that I showed you guys. I'm going in the same order that I showed you. And this is the stickers I have in my background. Everything is from Timu. So if you guys are interested in those stickers as well, just search up greenery stickers for home decor and they should pop up on Timu. This was actually one of my favorite wigs that I tried on. I didn't think I would like it and it would look maybe too fake or too synthetic. But when I matched it right with my hairline and I set it down, it just looked really, really pretty and authentic. Now, this is 14 inches for, for me personally. I feel like this looks like it's 12 inches. Um, and maybe if I straightened it a little bit more, it would look a little longer. But me... You know, for me, I think that this is 12 inches. I don't think this is 14 inches in length. Overall, it is a cute wig, and I'm just gonna give you guys a 360 of the wig and how it's looking. It's wavy in the back, and it's just a little short bob. And I thought this was perfect for springtime and Easter. Also, you're gonna see how far the lace comes around on each of the wigs. So yeah, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this first wig, and I think it was one of my favorites. But you guys are going to have to see the next two and decide for yourselves which one you think looks better. Now this is the black wig. Remember that this one is the 26 inch one. Now I found that this one had kind of like a little bit of a layer type of thing to it. But I do think that this one is true to its size. And I'm just going in and adjusting the little straps in the inside. And I'm going to flip my hair over and try it on. Now remember that this one is pre-plucked. So it actually looks a little bit more natural. The only thing that I think doesn't look natural are the actual knots in the wig. But there is products that you can purchase that helps conceal the knots. 
this is just me sizing it up with my natural hairline now this wig cap is a little bit bigger on my head and you guys are going to see me brush all the hair out but yeah you guys are going to see me brush all the hair out i wanted to see the texture of it how soft it is and how the brush glides onto it and look at those edges like the side part is the most natural side part I've ever seen in a wig. And I'm just doing the whole 360. I haven't done anything to these wigs. So I haven't straightened them or anything like that. And it does go all the way to the top of my butt. So I do think that this one is true to size. I'm going to put a picture of that product that helps conceal the edges. And yeah, on to the next one. Now, this one is the last wig that I purchased, and it is the 613 24-inch um, blonde wig. I was checking the texture of it, and I wanted to go to show you guys another up-close of it. Now, because this is a bleached blonde wig, like I mentioned earlier, it is a little bit drier than the other wigs. And I don't know why I thought once, <laughs> I don't know why when I put this wig on, I just started cracking up because I felt like I looked like Mufasa, like the Lion King. This one also did have a little bit of layering kind of thing going on. But again, I don't mind. And you guys are just going to see me crack up a little bit while I'm trying to finesse this wig a little bit and um, brush it. Now, even though it was dry, my brush for the most part didn't tug on the hair and it glided smoothly. And up in close and personal, you see that I can part the hair in whatever ways I want. And it still looks extremely natural. I don't see any roots at all. The ends for me also looked a little bit um, blonder than the roots. Now, this is a body wave wig. So it is about 24 inches. But because it is curly, it doesn't look as long. Uh, definitely if I was to strain it, I think it would look the true length that it is. Now, these are two color Rista semi-permanent hair colors in metallic orchid that I'm going to be using to get this color right here. Now, I was going to originally do the Adore hair color and lavender for the watercolor method, but I picked this up in my local Walmart and I think that this will be such a pretty color to try the watercolor method with to dye this hair. I didn't want to keep this hair blonde. I wanted to dye a certain color. So this is what I'm going to be aiming for. I love how this kit includes everything that you need. But yeah, so if you guys want to see me do that in a future video, comment down below. And then I did pick up these little lavender eye gels that go under your eyes. I forgot the exact name of it. This blonde wig that I have is going to get revamped. Like I'm talking... I'm going to apply it on my hair. I'm going to color it. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. I'm going to straighten it. And overall, this is my first impressions of all of the wigs. I will definitely be playing around with them and give you my final thoughts. But I'm not going to be doing that all in today's video. Today's video is showcasing them directly when I first purchased them. But yeah, all of these wigs kind of impressed me. I was kind of shocked with the quality of them um, besides the length issue. Don't forget to check the link in my bio. Everything will be down below, including my Timu affiliate code and affiliate link. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give me two thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.